Welcome, everybody, to Stacking the Box. A little bit of a special edition here, welcoming in Seattle Seahawks tight end Noah Fant is kind enough to join us here on a Friday morning. Noah, how you doing? I'm doing good. How are you? Good, good. You know, listen, we wanted to catch up, talk to you a little bit here now with OTAs in full swing, mini camp coming up. Um, how has the adjustment been for you? Obviously, you were part of that big trade with Russell Wilson going to Denver, you going to Seattle. Um, what has it been like for you now? You, first three years in Denver, and now part of a new organization. Yeah, no, it's definitely a little different, right? I mean, um, it was definitely a little bit of a shock. Um, obviously, it's kind of it's kind of weird because you know talking to you know uh, John Schneider and kind of just hearing about everything that was said, right? I was I was close to coming to Seattle in the first place when I was getting drafted, but Denver took me a pick ahead of time. But, uh, you know, everything happens for a reason. I feel like I'm in the right spot with the right people in the right offense. And um, I think it's, I think it's going to be good. So. How did you find out that you were traded? The whole, that whole thing was kind of just like a shock, man. I was working out. I saw it flash across the flash across the screen. And uh, man, I went back to my phone and, one of my buddies I was training with uh, was like, dude, I think you're a part of the trade. So I go back to my phone and then I see my agent calling me or GM calling me, all this stuff. So it's like a whirlwind from there. And, uh, but, you know, like I said, all that's in the past and I'm in a spot where that wants me that, you know, likes having me here. And I enjoy going into the facility and with the team already and the energy in there. So um, I'm, I'm happy to be here. So. Obviously, it's a big change, but one benefit I would think for you is you had a couple teammates come along with you, Drew Locke, Shelby Harris. Is that, has that helped a little bit uh, to, to kind of feel like you can getting acclimated somewhat? You, you have a few familiar faces in the room with you? Yeah, no, definitely. I think it's always good to have some familiar faces. Um, my big focus when I was coming in, though, is just kind of like to meet the new guys, right? To meet the guys that I hadn't met before and truly become a part of the team. Cause obviously if you just stay stick around the people that you're comfortable with, you never really get fully acclimated and fully indulged into the team. So um, I really enjoyed meeting all the, all the guys. It's a, it's a great group of young guys on a team that are, that are hungry and that, you know, want to win games. So I've enjoyed being a part of it and, and getting to meet all of them and be around them. So. That offense has been friendly in the past tight ends. There have been plenty of tight ends who have come through when Pete Carroll's been there and had success. I know it's early. You're just getting used to the scheme, but how do you feel it fits what you do as a player? Yeah, no, I think, I think it'll fit great. I think, you know, obviously it's a very balanced offense with the run in the pass game. Um, there's going to be both, right? There's going to be blocking. There's going to be catching passes and um, all that stuff. But I think, you know, and Shane Waldron's offense, I think that he he tailors it a little bit to be advantageous for the tight end position. Like we have to know a lot of stuff, but he kind of understands. He's coached tight ends before. He kind of understands um, different ways to make it a little bit easier. So I really enjoyed already just being in the offense for a month, um, just the process and how we do things, and um, like I said, how advantageous it is for the for the tight ends and making it a little bit easier on us in different ways. So. You know, before I go further, I want to mention you're working with USAA today, uh, and, and I know you've been torn around with Chris Carson, of course, Seattle's running back. Uh, why did you decide to team up with USAA, and, and what about that has been a good partnership for you? Yeah, no, that, so the whole partnership's kind of focused on the moving, right? Moving to a new city. I've gotten to have Chris show me around and, uh, you know, kind of show me all the cool places to go, but um, that's, that's what it's all geared towards. And I wanted to work with USAA, um, to, you know, support the military. That's something that's big to me. I have some military connects in my family. Um, and that's all, that's what they're all about. So obviously, um, if anybody's looking to move in the summer or anything like that, they can go over to usa.com slash movers and kind of get the same experience that I am. And, uh, you know, I've, I've gotten lucky to have, you know, Chris show me around. He's been great. And, uh, you know, obviously he's, he's got some experience in Seattle, so it's been really good. Where is, where's the favorite place? Where's the place that he's shown you that you're like, all right, that's, that's a spot I've got to, I've got to hit a bunch. Has he, has he done right by you in that regard? It would have to be the public market. We went, we went down there and, uh, I actually got to catch a fish, which was really cool. <laughs> so, uh, we got the, that whole setup and we got some videos and pictures of that, which was really dope. And, uh, I had a lot of fun doing that. So that definitely have to be the favorite. 
are you all settled in now? Are you moved? I know, you know that that's one hell of a process sometimes. Are you are you feeling at this point that you're settled? Yeah, no. So I've been, I've been in a hotel um, out here in an extended stay hotel, um, but I'm settled in in every other way, right? Like I'm settled into the team. I'm settled into where I need to be, like where the meeting rooms are at and all that stuff. Um, I'll move into an apartment right before camp and uh, get all that going. But as far as like being settled, the only thing I don't have is is a permanent place that I'll be living during the season. But everything else has gone really smooth, and I feel really actually really comfortable here in Seattle already. So uh, it's been it's been really good in that regard. Your career really has gone up each year. You know, your yards were almost identical uh, over the last couple of years. You know, six seventy. Uh, but you know, you've really taken a jump. What, what is the thing this year that you want to take a jump in that maybe you focused on either in camp or in training during the off season, you're like, all right, you know what, I'm good at X, Y, and Z, but I, I want to get better at, at this. Yeah. I think, I think for me, it's just kind of breaking through that plateau, right? Like I, like you said, I've kind of reached that, you know, 600, close to 700 yards. And then like four, I had four touchdowns last year. It's like, if I can up all of those numbers and kind of, just keep learning about the game, being in the game. And also, like like I said before, touching on uh, in this offense, we, we don't run the ball now. And like, I think like that's something that I've consistently focused on improving on since I got into the league. Um, just being a good blocker, being able to spring blocks, be able to spring um, run plays. So that's definitely something that I've been focusing on also. Uh, but it's kind of nice being, like I said, being in this offense because Coach Waldron does a good job of like, you're not always going to be in line, right? You're sometimes you're going to be split out blocking a DB. Sometimes you're going to be off the ball blocking someone, you know, cross that thing back to the other side. So uh, it's just different things that he includes in there to mix it up so that you're not getting the same block every time um, that I've really enjoyed being a part of. So I'm really looking forward to kind of putting that on display and uh, being able to, you know, take my game to a new level in both the pass game and the run game. So. A few more questions real quick here with Noah Fan talking to the Seattle Seahawks tight ends. He was working with USAA. Appreciate him joining us here on Stacking the Box. I wanted to ask you about your old division. That division has gotten a lot of shine. Obviously, the Broncos making the big move that you're involved in. The Raiders brought in Devontae Adams and Chandler Jones. They made the playoffs last year. The Chargers did not make the playoffs, but added a bunch of guys. The Chiefs are the Chiefs. They continue to be a threat. How do you look at that division? I, I mean, how do you assess it in, in a in a era where maybe you have four of the top ten to twelve quarterbacks in the league in it? Yeah, no, I mean that's a that's, that's a division now. I mean, like even when I was there, like it was uh, every game was going to be a tough game, and uh, I was actually just talking with Chris about that. It's like the a, you got the AFC West and the NFC West to so kind of pick your poison and where you want to go. And I've had respect for both divisions. Uh, when, even when I was in Denver, the NFC West was like another one that's like, okay, that's a gauntlet of a division also. So, um, you know, I didn't get really any easier leaving the AFC West coming to the NFC West, but, uh, no, the AFC West is definitely a strong conference. And like you said, all those teams came in and improved their team in some way, right? The Raiders got Devontae Adams, the Chargers got Khalil Mack, the you know, Broncos got Russell Wilson. So, you know, every everybody tried to stack up their roster in that division. So there's definitely going to be some shootouts in that division. So it'll be it'll be fun to watch. But, you know, I got a I got a big task and worrying about the NFC West right now. So that's fair enough. All right. So two quickies and we'll let you go. You guys week one, you'll see some old friends. They come into town. Are you going to are you going to go with the way that a lot of players say, hey, listen, it's not. It's not a revenge game for me. It doesn't mean any more. It's all just one game. Or are you going to be honest about the fact that, of course, it means more and you'd like to go for 200 yards and two touchdowns in that game? Yeah. I mean, anybody that says, like, oh, that's not a best, I'm not going to have any feeling about that game, that's a lie. Like, it, like you're going to get in that game and want, want to tear the other team that you were formerly on up. Um, but so, yeah, obviously, I want to have a really good game. I want to beat them. I want to be able to, you know, hold that over former teammates and, really close friends that I have on the Broncos. I hold that over their head, but um, I, I'm I'm looking forward to that game, man. I get to compete against guys that I know, guys that I love that are my, that are my brothers, and um, hopefully be able to make a statement, right? And be able to say, hey, like, should have kept me or something like that. So um, it, it'll be fun. And 
I, I look forward to playing with the Seahawks and, and uh, you know, being in Lumen Field and, and scoring, scoring my first touchdown there at some point. So I'm excited. Last question. Uh, you're going to a place or you're out of place now in Seattle, which is known for being very loud. Denver mm -hmm. is known for being very loud. What is the loudest stadium you've ever played in? That's a good question. Um, honestly, I say this all the time, but like the top two stadiums that I've, that I've the loudest I've played in is either the Chiefs um, playing away um, there against the Chiefs or um, people think I'm like crazy when I say this, but when we played Seattle in the preseason, that was one of the loudest games that we played in all season. And like in even preseason. in a preseason pre game, <laughs> like when we got down to our red zone area, and they were cheering like it is like deafening like you can't hear anything that's being called so um people think i'm crazy when i say that but it's it, i have to give the 12s their credit they they bring it every game so well, hey you'll be on the good side of that now they'll be quiet for you when you're on the field arrowhead you actually do go to arrowhead this year so you will have to deal with that again but it's only yeah. only uh, once every few years now hey noah yeah. thanks so much for uh for joining us man i really appreciate this and, and all the best this year in seattle Thank you. Appreciate that.